Hi, I have just arrived from Cambridge, England. I'm starting here in the Humble Dojo in Valencia, Spain. We're starting with George Jordan, George Luis, and Lucia Stolle. And there is an important idea we want to discuss. There is that we follow a school that study Bugay, but also our ancient tradition uh, encompasses a concept of Bujutsu. So I would like to ask George Luis about the difference between Bugay and Bujutsu. What is the structure? What is the historical aspects? What does that mean, actually? Thank you very much, Carlos San and Jose San, for asking me this important question uh, regarding Bujutsu. In principle, we have to, to make the difference between Bugay and Bujutsu. Uh, when we use this kanji, gay, in, inside Bugay, we are dealing with uh, every aspect that the ancient uh, disciplines have. Then it's not regarding only war forms, also mm -hmm. using for, uh, for arts, for disciplines, cultural disciplines, etc. When we talk about Bujutsu, we are especially a war-oriented vision. Is to say, for example, training Jujutsu, Kenjutsu, or whatever discipline, whatever subject we study under Bugay, of course, they deal with the skills using this weapon, using your body, in order to defend to different situations. But inside Bujutsu, this converts in a real way to defend in war. Why? Because, of course, in war, everything could happen. The other could handle a tanto, handle a bokuto, whatever, whatever way to defend against you, and he could use this dangerous weapon against you. Then you need to cover to defend against these circumstances. Then, for this reason, uh, in our tradition, we have Especially, it's a broad, it's a broad discipline, a broad subject, and this is explained under sudden and shooting graduation. This is why we have two makimono. Then, for me, it will be very interesting that we take a, a, a close look to to what is the makimono inside and what is written and explained. First of all, I'm going to explain regarding the sudden that it's the first tradition of Bujutsu. Then we have here the first makimono that is Soden Bujutsu no So. That is the, the document regarding uh, Bujutsu, the art of war. There. From here we have Soden Kasenori Ubuge Ogawa Dento Bujutsu Ichiban Keiko. That means it's the first training. Okay. Then first it's Hi no Sawaki. That are the movements of the fire. Then we have Taijutsu, Juren Sokudosa. Some people think that when we are talking about this Juren Sokudosa, that means uh, uh, movements of ten, uh, ten sequences, uh, think that it's like um, um, like a pre-order sequence. And uh, despite some masters have have tried. To, to organize this, when we are dealing about Bujutsu, this means that a Shoden student need to defend against mm, 10 movements, 10 mm. attacks, simple attacks, that need to, to defend in a real situation under Taijutsu vision. is to say, how to defend with your body against mm, different, several types of attack that no, in this case we are talking about Bujutsu, then this means that are not pre-established. You need to defend against a not known attack in 10 different, move, uh, 10 different movements, 10 defense, one after the other. We have here Shinken Shirahadori, that means to defend against a real, a real uh, katana. The same, we have Iponme Juran Sokudosa, Nihonme Juran Sokudosa. What means Iponme and Nihonme? Some master explains that Iponme means against one opponent. Nihonme covers other situations, maybe attacks from the back, it depends on the school, maybe attacks with several, uh, several enemies, 
around right. you, etc., or maybe combined attacks. Okay? Sure. Right. Remember, in this case, when we are dealing in this, uh, in this Makimono, in this document, we have to understand that our uh, clean attacks, it could not be uh, like uh, with uh, some, uh, some traps or something like that. We will yes, yes. look after because this is a more difficult movement, more difficult vision. After this, we have Tanto Sirajadori, that is defense against a knife, and we have the same, Iponme and Nihonme in Jur and Sokuto side, is to say, defend against 10 different movements. Nuki, Tome uh, that means diff when you are trying to take out, to draw a sword, and the other is trying to, to grip you, is, in order to defend against your, your Nuki, you have to defend on, sorry, Iponme and Nihonme, also Yur and Sokurosa in both studies. The same, it could be against one, uh, one enemy, two enemies, it depends on the school. For sure. The following, uh, it's a go shinbo, okay, go shinbo ubaidori. It's lo, w the, the way we call to botori, that it's when the enemy is trying to, to hit you, to strike you with a bow, attacking you with a bow, and you with free hands, with your, your hands, need to defend, take out the, the bow of the enemy. And in this case, we have one more time, Iponme and Nihonme. Vision. It could be against two attackers in the Nihon Me, etc. Yes. Okay, then the following one that we are dealing here, it's when we are talking about Yari Shira Hadori. Uh, many people don't know about these, uh, these techniques because this means when the enemy is trying to, uh, for example, uh, pierce you with a Yari, okay. okay, and you have to defend, okay? In this case, you have also the Ipon and Nihon Me in Yuren Sokudosa. But for example, it could be interesting maybe right now that we have an explanation of this because many people don't know about what it's Yari Sirahadori, the defense against a spear. Then, for example, uh, Jose san, could you take a, a Yari close to here and I explain some details about But this could be quite interesting because one of the uh, most important thing in, in this is that the, how is the struggle of the distance. You have problems to deal with the distance because he is managing a weapon that is so, it's, uh, so long and, and, and it's difficult to arrive. Then, of course, when, for example, put right here, when he is maybe trying to, uh, to pierce me, here, I need to go out, it's very important to feel the enemy, okay? Then when we are here, we need to go out, and after here, we could enter in for having control on this point. We could take out, and of course, having control on this, on this arm here, yes. or maybe I'm restraining here, having this control, and restraining the elbow or whatever. Then this study covers, of course, mm. tens of forms of how to defend against Tajari. But especially what is asked in a test, what is asked to a certain level, is to defend after uh, continuous attacks. Ten attacks, it's what it's needed to know. Okay? Okay. Then he will attack one more time in different attacks that I don't really know and I have to defend against this. This will be the idea of this Yari Sirahadori. With this Yari Sirahadori, please, Hosan, you can leave the spear close to you. We have ended this, this concept that is the uh, Hino Sabaki, that is the fire. Right now, we go for the Kuki no Sabaki, that means the air movement, the movement of the air. And we have here also different concepts inside. First one, we are dealing here about Heiho. Remember, Heiho is the method of the soldier. Of the soldier but means for us like strategy. Then we have Kenjutsu no Heiho. Take a look, a look here. Here we are going to 
you hachi rensoku de dosa is to say we have added uh, other studies here we need not only to read to the 10 we need to read to the 18 movements then for kenjutsu the following concept here it's ya jutsu no heiho this the heiho is the method of how to deal in a strategy of war about the ayutsu, drawing the sword. The next one, it's very interesting here. It's, tan, uh, it's katana to tanto no heiho. Many people ask, okay, we will look in the student level. What's the difference when we talk about kento tanto? What, what's the difference katana to tanto that kento tanto? Here it's when you have a katana and you are fighting and after this you take out a knife and you attack. Mm -hmm. Just to say, for example, I think it's a, a, a nice point here to, to take a, a close look. Then, Carlos, could you take both uh, two bokuto and a tanto for me in Thank order you. to explain? In my belt, in my belt, sorry, my distant sure. and for example, I use this katana. For example, sure. uh, please put on the right side of the camera. We are, for example, in Nokamai, both of us, and for example, uh, you try to, to cut Kesagiri, I make Fusasuru, and for this situation, I try. To, uh, to 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 start to 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 use uh, my my tip in order to make tsuki on your face then you protect the should be okay from here we could go for example on uh, on tsubagumi no riko is to say we are going to both of us go to this situation from this i control here i uh, i left my right hand in order to come here and of course stunning. This will be the idea of, the, of this katana to tanto that we are explaining here. And of course we have the Yuhachi Rensu Kudosa at the same time. This, remember that we are dealing here with Heiho, with strategy. The next one, in order to end this show, this, this document, is when we are talking about here we have boto katana no heiho you had renso kudosa and yari to katana no heiho you had renso kudosa i should say 80 movement, movements more regarding when the bow is attacking to the katana and with the yari is attacking the katana okay this is the explanation for the document of Soden. Then, after this, for me it's important to look at the student level because you are preparing for Sensei, it's, it's where is your target in order to study after this that it covers your preparation. Please, uh, Carlos San, could you roll the Makimono while I am opening the, the next one? As we could take a close look here on the name we have Chuden Bujutsu no So we have here the Shoden okay and we have here the Chuden opening it we have first thing Shoden Chuden Rasen or you Bugei Ogawa Dento Bujutsu that is the, the, the name itself of the Makimono Ichiban Keiko the first training the first studies that we need to know on this Makimono Kakuto no bujutsu. What means kakuto? Kaku, it's an emphasis. An emphasis of war. Of what? War. Because to comes from tatakai, that it's war. Then it's the uh, art of military art inside the reality, the emphasis of war. Heiho no jutsu is to say we are dealing with kakuto no bujutsu, that is the study of real war, but studying a strategy 
the art of strategy here. Then let's go to understand what is happening here. Like I was explaining before, we have Ken to tanto juren sokudosa. One more time, we have to defend against to, against a tanto using or katana. That is ken to tanto or the reverse. Ken to bo. Okay, that is the same to bo to ken juren sokudosa. And the next one we have the kento yari. That is the study of the ken against a yari when uh, we are attacked by this yari, Juren Sokudosa. And this is covered by the study of Ichiban Keiko because now, right now we are going to the Niban, uh, Niban Keiko. Okay? Then in this first study, we have to understand how to deal with this weapon one against the other. What are the heiho, what are the reality, and how to defend against this. You have to understand that close, uh, that here we don't know the type of attack. Of course, it could be a clean attack, but it's difficult to manage in this circumstance. Despite we have to deal with this in sudden graduation, but these are more advanced studies. On Nivan, uh, on the Nivan Keiko, we have here one more time. Uh, we have the Heiho no Jutsu, and we start to study uh, several things here. Shinken Shirahadori, that is the same that we have studied, but right now with the uh, emphasis on what is student graduation, that are the inner way of doing Heiho. Yuren Sokudo san, Tanto Shirahadori defending against a, a real knife. The next one with is Goshin no Jutsu. That it's what about how we defend, how we defend the body, how we protect ourselves. This is a way of protecting. And we have several things here. We have to defend against, uh, against uh, several things. We have uh, for example, here uh, we have the Taibo, that means uh, Tai, it's uh, versus two, versus a bow, versus a, a, a staff. Juren Sokudosa, we have Tanbo, that it's, you know, it's the, the, the short bow, and we have versus Yo, Tai Yo. And this is a study. Here, sorry, I have forgotten here. It's about Yari, okay? Tai Yari. Let's go to Kyujutsu. Kyujutsu is the art of the bow. And we have Ichiban Keiko. And we have cover Reijito Saho. That means the etiquette and good manners regarding how to use. We have Reiji no Karada. That means the etiquette of the body. What means the body in the different situations? What is the etiquette of the body? We have on this, uh, we have uh, Rensu uh, no Yoi, the preparation, the, 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 the training preparation, or the preparation of the training, Juren Sokudosa, and uh, Hasa no Dosa. Hasa no Dosa, Hasa means to, to suit, to fire. Ways of fire, movements of fire that we have, Ten movements. In this point, uh, also I would like to explain that, of course, uh, makimono is not covering the full concepts because in bujutsu it's when we are dealing with real uh, situation, and it means that maybe you have to defend against a bow. For example, when other is firing yourself, you have to uh, you have to defend. Uh, and you have to use the ya no nigeru, that it's to escape in from an arrow, for example. Also, you could do it um, uh, uh, shuriken no nigeru, that it's to escape from a shuriken when you are, when you are defending against other that it's throwing you a shuriken. Sure. What is important in this? In this, you have to feel, you have to feel the enemy because if you try by your vision to look at the at the arrow, to look at the at the shuriken, 
surely you won't escape. You will be uh, beat down, for sure. But you, you need to feel, you have to empathize with the enemy. You have to feel the movement, what is happening, the body, what the body is telling to you. And you have to move like what is happening. Then uh, it's a good moment, a good moment, sorry, for I think that you practice this and let's take a look on what is happening. Okay? Ashley, please. Ashley, please.